Hi, I'm Artsu Ensang, BenQ Brand Ambassador in x Right Colorado. In this video, what I like to do is talk about 4K display and resolution scaling on a Windows PC. Now, if you're using a Macintosh, resolution scaling is done differently, and I will put a link to the video in the description below. This guide will work for any 4K display. However, in this case, I'm going to use the BenQ Hardware Calibrate Display. This is the SW271, or if you have the BenQ SW320, the 32-inch 4K display, this will also work for that as well. Okay, so let's get right into it. To change a display scaling on a Windows PC, in this case, what I would simply do is come in, right click on the desktop and go under display setting. Now, the thing to note about PC, unlike a Macintosh, is that you can't really go in, or you could, but you shouldn't really go in and change the display resolution because if you do that, you're gonna have text that doesn't look quite as smooth, doesn't look quite as crisp or as sharp on the screen anymore. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. So we scroll down on this setting page under resolution. Right now, I have this set to panel native, which is 3840 by 2160. This is native to this panel. Now the thing about PC is that it will list all the resolution that it could do and it can be really confusing. This is also another reason not to come in and change this because amazingly enough, I'm going to show you this. If you click on the recommended one, and we're gonna say keep changes, you can see that there's a black bar on both sides of the screen. This is the recommended one based on the screen of my Surface Pro here. That's not what I really want. I want it to run natively on this 4K panel. I mean, I spent a lot of money on a 4K panel. I want to run native resolution on there. So this doesn't really work quite well. The other thing too that I want to demo here is that let's say we're going to go down to 1920 by 1080, which is 16 to nine aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and keep changes. We can kind of see here that the text on the screen, it doesn't look quite as smooth. There's some blurriness to it, which is actually not ideal running on a 4K display. I mean, again, this is supposed to be a really gorgeous display and really smooth text. That doesn't really happen when you do resolution scaling. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to panel native 3840 by 2160. So under scaling layout, this is where you would come in and change the scaling for any specific app or all the icons and text on a PC. And this is the best place to do it. So right now I have this scaling set to 300. And it's a recommended one. It looks really nice. The text and the icons and everything on the screen looks really nice. We have Lightroom here. And this is running at 300% scaling. So the nice thing about 300% scaling, which is the recommended scaling, is that you can see the text really clearly. You can see the picture still, and you can see some of the panels on the right side and on the left side as well. The text and the sliders are very easy to read. However, at 300% scaling, we are starting to sacrifice screen real estate for readability, which I think is a little bit too much in this case. Again, this is gonna be a variable up to you, you can change this however you like, depending on how comfortable you're working with on the 4K display and how small you want your text to be or how large you want your text to be. However, in this case, I feel like I want more screen real estate and I can use the text, to, I can make the text a little bit smaller and it'll be okay for me. So the thing is that I'm gonna go right in here back under display setting and I'm going to change the scaling and layout in this case to 200%. Let's see how that looks this time. Now on a PC, if you have done a resolution scaling change, you need to quit and relaunch the app in order for the app to redraw based on that scaling. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and launch Lightroom again. So at 200% scaling, if you look at my Lightroom right now, I can now see the entire basic panel, right? With a little bit more of like the header for the next panel, tone curve, HSL, and so forth, which is kind of really nice. And this, I feel like it's a good compromise between screen real estate, and readability. Now, if you want to go really crazy here, in this case, we can do one more thing. We can change the scaling down to 100%. So we're going to go ahead and set the scaling to 100%. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close Lightroom down. And we're going to go ahead and relaunch Lightroom again. So right now I have Lightroom running at 100% scaling. As we can kind of see here, we got so much green real estate 
but now we're really sacrificing readability of Lightroom because everything is tiny and is small and you have to be that close to the screen now, which I'll give you five minutes. Your eyes are going to hurt working with this. I can't even stand to work in something this small. So obviously scaling is going to be very important and crucial for Windows machine. And again, make sure that you do scaling and not resolution change on a window PC. So in this case, what I'm going to go ahead and do is close out Lightroom one more time, change it to my great compromise number of 200%. This way the interface looks a little bit larger on the screen. Everything looks fairly nice. And I'm going to go ahead and launch Lightroom again. So now I'm back in Lightroom at 200% scaling. I feel that this is the best compromise for me in terms of screen real estate and text readability. I still get a lot of screen real estate for me to work with my panels and I can still read the text really clearly while sitting back and not having to be that close to the display. Now, if you like, you can always go in and change the scaling according to what you need as well. There's different increments you can choose from and you can feel free to change those. The other thing too is that it doesn't hurt to always dynamically change the scaling based on the program that you're using because again, editing in Lightroom and Photoshop, you may like it at 200% like me. But for instance, when you're browsing the web, you may like it to be a little bit larger at 300% or you like to see more to website, which then you can bring the scaling down to 100%. So on a 4K display, the ideology of one resolution fit all, or in this case for a PC, one scaling fits all, doesn't really quite work anymore. So you kind of need to almost go in and adapt dynamically to the different applications you're using. One more thing as well on a PC is that you can always come in here and click on advanced scaling setting. In this case, I have this turned on. Let Windows try to fix apps so that they're not blurry. In this case, Windows will try to do some rescaling and dynamic adjustment on the app itself. However, from my testing, I still find that if you change the scaling drastically, you still need to quit and relaunch the application in order for it to pick up on the new drawing methods. So for all of you creative professionals out there who are using a PC with a 4K display, in this case, I'm using it with the BenQ SW series of display. I hope that you find this video on scaling with a 4K display helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in a comment below. And thank you for watching.